Sean. It's Ted. And today we're going to talk about how to play rhythm on, on the, the guitar. guitar. Sean and Ted, Sean and Ted's music going back This is Sean and Ted's Musical, Musical Adventure. Adventure. Rhythm guitar. guitar. How yeah. to play rhythm guitar. Um, my favorite, let's get right to it. My favorite rhythm guitar players are Malcolm Young. Yes. That's a big one. Yeah, that's, I gotta say that's my favorite. How about who's your favorite? Well, like his, uh, we, we were talking before, uh, John John Lennon, uh, Malcolm, and I, I even like for, for sort of modern rock and roll is, is Paul Stanley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Paul Stanley's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Underrated. These guys Underrated, never, yeah. never get any credit, you know, for that yeah. sort of style. But uh, what are the, you know, when it comes to rhythm guitar, what are the, what should we, what should we point out that's important to them? Well, I think you got to the people. I think, I think to the people you got to talk about the whole, uh, this right hand here. Yeah, the right hand is, it's like, it's like you're playing drums. Hi hat. Hi hat. See? He's doing the same thing as the drummer. Dynamic. This is important. Dynamic. Bringing it down. It's the not right always hand. just chinging away yeah, at the right yeah, hand. Yeah, but yeah. I think the most important, one of the most important elements of rhythm guitar is definitely playing to a click. Learning yes. to play in time. Yeah. Learning to play in time. And uh, you need either a, uh, a metronome or, in this case, we have a handy dandy little uh, drum app, and you can go. Well, I know this song. <laughs> Metal rhythm. Metal. metal. Again, the same thing. Almost all styles have that consistent right hand. Yeah. It's about, so, you know, I think if, if, if you don't know a drummer, find a drummer to play with. <laughs> Even if it's just you and the drummer. Start a band. Yeah, or or roll a, roll a drum tracks and play the drum tracks yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Well, actually, I was going to say. Get that right hand. And, I was going to say, another time. good thing nowadays is for a lot of guys, which I just thought of, is loopers. Yes. Loopers. Get a looper pedal. A looper pedal, because yeah, yeah. then you can, you can play both. You know, you can learn when yeah. you're you're learning. Because they all usually just about all of them now have like a little drum machine in it. Yeah, and so that's the key element, really learning to play in time, because you're really a big part of the rhythm section. Mm -hmm. you know, hence, the rhythm guitar. Okay. And then, of course, coffee helps too. When coffee. You, when you get. Well, you got to be careful, because if you drink too much coffee, then you'll speed up. You don't want to speed up. Or... Okay. Consistent one and two and three and four. And, and this hand too, you know, yeah. I keep forgetting that there's a little muting going on here. Muting is important too, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know? So right hand is really important. Learn to play to a click. Yep. You know, learn to play to a click. Learn to play in time is really, really important. Yep. Get that right hand. You're, you're like the hi-hat. You yep. should be right in sync with the hi-hat. On the drums, yes, absolutely. That's really, really. And cool. and, and, and if you're in a, uh, a two guitar band, if you if you kind of just give me a give me a give me one of those. What are you playing? Just B, just playing in B. B? Yes. No, but it's like. Covering more of the drum kit part, yeah, and, and I, you're just hitting the shots. The snare, the snare, and old school, like in fifties rock. Yeah, bomb. yeah. Bomb. Bomb. Do, 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 do. Again, you're still playing with the drums. Absolutely. You're hitting the snare, mm, crack, mm, crack, yeah, mm, crack. So yeah, it's really, really important to uh, learn how to play with uh, a metronome or a drummer, yeah. or that's the essence. And, and of, if, and if uh, I become the bass player here for a second, and you yeah. show this earlier, I'll play A, and you show those other chords you're doing. Well, yeah, that. then you can you do these little two note chords where you can change the melody around yeah, while yeah. you're playing an A. So you're the bass player. So be oh, like the bass player just failed. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'll play both. Yeah. Oh, 
nice. Well, yeah, so but you know I'm, what? I'll, I'll grab another guitar. Yeah, I'm gonna grab another guitar yeah. here. Um, this is in. Uh, this is tuned out, but I'll, I'll play it up. A, a That's bit, okay. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, so acoustic so, rhythm. Uh, yeah. So, so if I'm playing, uh, it should be G for you. Play G. Good. Yeah. That's really the, that's kind of the, the magic sauce to rhythm playing, I think, is really learning how to play to a click, really making sure your right hand's playing properly. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and just and just being really um, one with the, the drummer and the bass player, too. Absolutely. You're, you're kind of like the, you're the a conduit between the two, I think. Yeah, you, you glue it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's really important to, uh, you know, timing. And so if, you know, you're sitting alone in your bedroom, you better be playing to something. Yes. Play along to anything. That's, that's sort of the key, right? So... Yeah. Um, let's talk about our favorite. I want to dig into that a little bit. Why is Malcolm Young such a great rhythm guitar player? Why do you think? Um, well, that might be another, a whole other episode on, on on our favorite players. But I, I, I would say, I would say he's probably the guy that just he's like the anchor to me. Of you know, he's the super well, he's really good at pocket. Like, yeah, yeah, it, pocket. like pocket means like and groove and groove and, and where, where he, he there's a lot of space. He's not yeah. his place to go. <laughs> Yeah. Now that sounds simple. But that's hard to do. Yeah. That's really, especially to play in time and in, yeah. with pocket with the drummer. Boom, crack, da -da -da. crack, da -da -da. crack. He's really, really aware of yeah. space and time and and where to put the notes. And, and, he's, and he's probably essential, just like John Lennon beca and and Paul Stanley again, because yeah. they're the songwriters, dude. So it all starts. It all starts with the song, you know, like yeah. See. You're kind of replacing like that. I mean, there you go. You bring up a really good point. Um, these guys were all songwriters. Yeah. And so when they're sitting there writing a song, it's almost like they're trying to be the whole band on the guitar. That's right. That's, that's the right amazing. hand yeah. is the drums. Yeah. The, the left hand becomes the sort of the bass and guitar. Yeah. And then they're humming a melody. So that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that ties into songwriting. Well, I, and I, I think even uh, when you're talking about uh, Headfield, same thing. He's the writer, main vocalist. Absolutely. So he's, you know, he's. Yeah. It's. With his voice and, and the rhythm, he could, you know... Uh, Hetfield has a really interesting, a very unique way of playing rhythm that's yeah. really, really cool. And not a lot of people realize this. He plays everything down. He yeah. doesn't... You know, most guys alternate pick, you know, up and down. Everything... That's how he gets that super tight metal sound. That... Everything is down. So there's another sort of approach of of getting that certain sound, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, how you play the right hand really affects the sound of the guitar, so that's really neat too. And yeah, so I, I think, you know, without getting really deep into it, like I said, we could start talking about, you know, jazz chords and rhythm that way, you know, yeah, all, yeah, the, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But I think, like I said, the, the main thing is, is work on your... The right hand. Right, the right hand. The right hand is so important. The right hand, and then just, like you said, bar chords. Yeah, yeah. Bar and chords. Even, even, before, even before playing guitar, you know, roll a click track, roll a metronome, and clap along and learn how to, you know, one, two and three, or and even, four, and, you know, internalize the time, right? You, you can't, you're not, it's not going to come through on the guitar if you're not internalizing the time. Yeah. Which yeah. is really, really, really important. Lot, so. Lots of, lots of playing to, like you said, to, to click tracks and to yeah. drum machines and all that yeah. kind of I stuff. I think, I think that like Malcolm Young was probably playing with the band since he was 12, 13 years probably, old. Probably, yeah. Playing those same three or four chords, just really dialing it in, which is really important. So on that note. Yes, uh, we're going to have to do something. Let's see. It's going to be very simple. Yeah. I'm going to do old school rhythm. <laughs> Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Yes, this uh, this this uh, beautiful video, this video. This and uh, what are we doing next week? Well, that's what I was going to say to you. Geez. I are was going to get the pedal. Pedal. I, think, I think the well, we could get the mind, but I was going to say maybe pedals, you know, using pedals with amps and stuff like that. Well, I think that's going to be too tricky. We need, okay, we need, we, we, that's, we need more cameras. We don't have enough okay. camera. That's coming. We're going to okay. might be moving to another facility soon. So that's oh, exciting. Okay. I think let's get in the mind of somebody. Who do you want to get in the mind of? Maybe maybe of uh, uh, Malcolm or or Angus. Yeah, let's get in the mind of the. ACDC guitar players. There you Malcolm go. Malcolm and Angus Young. Yes. Yeah. Right on. All right, man. And in that case, I'm just going to boogie out here because my other amp is dead, folks. Thanks for sticking around with yeah, us. Yeah, thanks and for sticking around. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Woo!